to OFX's Currency Corner here in the UK and after a rather disappointing end to England's World Cup hopes and chances it has been a tumultuous couple of weeks for the currency markets. My name is Hamish Mures, I'm one of the senior currency analysts here at OFX and I'm joined by my esteemed colleague Jake Trask, our FX research director. Uh, so Jake, obviously disappointing with England uh, but Sterling's been all over the place with white papers and Donald Trump weighing in. Exactly. A tumultuous few weeks uh, or a couple of weeks for the pound. Uh, we saw the release of Theresa May's white paper with regards to her third option with regards to uh, Brexit and trade and customs. Yep. Um, it was initially well received in Asian markets, but soon the resignation of Brexit Secretary David Davis and Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson mm -hmm. um, hit the pound hard. Um, and then obviously Donald Trump's decided to wade into the yep. argument as well. So um, the white paper does point towards a, a softer Brexit, but mm. uh, which is good for the market. You know, Sterling's always been positive with that, but the risk that she faces is this possible general election or, or leadership challenge. Is exactly. that something that we should be worried about? And a soft Brexit is anathema to all the people who voted for Brexit. There are elements of it which they just will not tolerate. Mm -hmm. So it's an impossible job Theresa May's got. It, Sterling's going to be under pressure for the foreseeable future. And if you do have dollar or euro exposure and you're worried about the pound because there is some considerable downside potentially for the pound, you may wish to be looking to fortify at current rates to protect yourself. Okay, okay. And it's like Donald Trump mentioned, um, it's not really Brexit. Uh, in Brexit in this kind of form, it's not what the people voted for. And mm. he's been weighing in no deal with the US perhaps. Exactly. And he sees the, the current option that Theresa May has tabled as basically um, negotiating with the EU. Um, over a trade deal. It wouldn't be the negotiating with the UK, in effect. Uh, stick, sticking with sterling, we've got a raft of data um, with inflation, wage growth, uh, retail numbers. Is this going to have um, an impact for Bank of England outlooks? Uh, yeah, well, at the moment, it's an 80% chance of an August rate hike at the moment. Uh, if these three prints hit target or beat target, yep. um, then it'll pretty much be priced in, and you could see a little bit of a sterling rally. Mm -hmm. But... Brexit just weighs on the pound all the time. And we've got those GDP figures at the end of the month. Mm. Could see um, a pick up again from Q1's disappointment. Exactly. The piece yeah. from the East hit Q1. We're likely to see an uptick to maybe 0.4% for Q2. Okay, so it's really a, a sort of a two stories here Brexit weighing down the, um, on the pound, but there's this possibility of um, interest rate hikes just yep. the one? Just, just the, the one this year. Just one interest rate hike um, in August from the Bank of England. Um, tale of two stories, really. Um, if you've got any questions or worried about where the markets are moving, please feel free to get in touch. Um, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.